This video is all about the acidity that substances can have, and in particular, the pH scale, in which these levels of acidity are measured. So the first question is, what does pH even stand for? It actually turns out that there's some debate as to why we have a lowercase p at the beginning of the abbreviation. Some people might say that pH stands for power of hydrogen. Some others might say it means potential of hydrogen. And a few other people could say that it means capacity of hydrogen. You might think that capacity does not start with a p, but in its Latin origins, it can. The similarity with all these meanings, however, is that there is some correlation to hydrogen. So why is that? Well, it turns out that hydrogen, or more specifically, a positive hydrogen ion, which is also known as a cation, can play a major role in how acidic or basic something is. So in the pH scale, you'll see that it goes all the way from 0 to 14. This means that the midway point on this scale, which would be 7, would not be acidic or basic. A substance with a pH of 7 would simply be considered neutral. If a pH is lower than 7, it's now considered to be acidic, and if it is higher than 7, it is considered to be basic. An alternative term for basic is actually alkaline. This word came from the Arabic origin of alkali, and was used by ancient Arab chemists for a compound that happened to be very basic. So what does it mean for something to be basic or acidic? The difference between the two is that things which are acidic tend to have a lot of hydrogen ions, while basic things tend to react with these hydrogen ions. There are several variations on these definitions, which we'll go into depth upon in future chemistry videos, but this is why acidity and basicity is correlated with pH. So what are some examples of things that are acidic? Well, it might be expected that a lot of common citrus fruits, such as lemons, grapefruits, and oranges, all fall under the acidic category of the scale. One of the ways you can sense acidity is by taste, where the thing being tasted would have a sharp and sour taste to it. So one of the things this proves is that not all acids are harmful. If we go to the opposite end of the spectrum, things like bleaches and ammonia solution and soap are known to be quite basic. While these things are not edible, things that are edible and basic would be associated with a more bitter taste. However, I would not advise that you ingest anything that is either highly basic or highly acidic. And the reason for that is because things that are on the polar ends of the pH scale, making them extremely basic or extremely acidic, are very reactive. As a result, these substances will severely damage your body's cells and possibly even result in death. This is why most foods that you'll ever eat have acidity levels that tend to stay close to the middle range of the pH scale. So while I've talked about acidity and basicity quite a bit, what's also interesting is neutral substances. Our blood, for example, is pretty close to neutral, with a pH level of 7.4, which makes it a very weak base. This is something that your doctor might measure, because if your blood's acidity is too high or low, this can cause some serious problems. Seawater and milk are also not too far off from being neutral. So one thing that many people can confuse is that a lower pH number means a stronger acid, and a higher pH number means a stronger base. It can be a little confusing, but the lower the pH of a substance is, the stronger of an acid it is. Sometimes it is more helpful to think that the further away from neutral a substance is, the stronger it is in either the acidic or basic direction. So as we observe the pH scale, a fundamental property that is important to know is that this is not a linear scale. For example, something with a pH of 8 is not twice as basic as something with a pH of 4. It turns out that when you go from one level of the pH scale to another, you're going up in basicity or acidity in powers of 10. This means that a substance with a pH of 5 is 10 times as basic as a substance with a pH of 4, while the pH of 6 would be 100 times as basic. This means that seawater with a pH of 8 is 10,000 times as basic as tomatoes, which have a pH of 4. This works the other way around as well. So tomato juice is 10,000 times more acidic than seawater. 
So pay attention when people talk about pH balance or blood pH, as these things can tell a lot about the environment and properties of a certain substance, such as your cells. So as we cover more biology, we're going to talk about how the pH of something might influence how some biological reactions, and especially when we get into chemistry, the pH of an environment will inform us about what type of reaction is going to happen between two substances. So that is it for the basic principles of biology, which now allows us to seamlessly transition into our cells unit, which will begin next video. But for now, I thank you all for watching.